And Mike just kind of goes, are you okay? And I'm like, I think so. He's like, welcome to the club, dude. <laughs> like, did we get it? Yes, we got it. Thank God. I'm gonna go out the bathroom and cry now. But yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's probably a good thing to remember. When you get your first audition, if your character has to scream, don't, don't be self-conscious. Let, just rip it out. It's just about <laughs> pretend you're being murdered or something, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do. That was my first thing. Yeah, when I, had, when I did have to be like emotional, directors would be like, no, don't hold back, don't hold back, don't be afraid. This mic can take anything. Because you're like, yeah. naturally, you're afraid of like, I'm going to blow this mic up. Like, no, no, I've we actually... got more. Blow it out. <laughs> They're like, just kill it. We don't care. And then you give it your yeah. all, and they all freak out. And you're like, "Will you stay?" I know, I know. Don't you hate it when they tell you to like, like you're told to be okay. So you're told to go all out, and then every once in a while, the engineer forgets to lower the levels, so you actually do pop the mic, and you're like, "Dude, not my fault, not mine." And you're like, "Man, that was a great scream." So, yeah, it's always the best one. What you think it is? Yeah, that's happened many times. So. Right. All right. More questions. More questions. We have some. You have some? Um, actually, for you, Aaron. Um. Did you notice that once, uh, like, was it more like once you hit, like, where your voice changed, once you hit puberty, were people like, uh, oh yeah, well, um, why don't you take your new voice and go back to the beginning, or were they kind of like, no, no, we can find something for you here, you, know, you can't do this anymore, but we, we can find something for you, or were they kind of like, yeah, just go back, yeah, back to the beginning. What do you mean for back to the beginning? Like, were they more like, uh, kind of, uh, well, like when your voice changed, did you have to go back and, like, try to... To redub everything? Re well, not redub everything, but like. Uh, you mean like was it like were like were you in the middle of recording a show when like uh, it, when that happened and you have to go back to the beginning of that show and record? Is, is that what you mean? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Did that happen? <laughs> or did you no, just like? No. Uh, it what happened? Was, were you too busy out wrecking cars? You'll, when you'll notice that towards the end of Full Metal Alchemist, Al Fung's, uh his voice starts to crack with emotion. Right. Yeah. Not, not with puberty, with emotion. <laughs> and by the movie, Puberty's a very emotional by the movie, time, right? yeah. If you remember the part where I'm like screaming, he just cuts the ship in half, and I'm screaming, "Brother, I just got you back," and all that. Yeah, my voice is just. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's my voice at that point. Like it's no good. I've noticed my own voice getting deeper over the past like year because of yeah. all the crazy voices I've done, and so there's like higher voices, like so I'm hitting like second puberty, where I'm like, I can't do that voice as young anymore, it's changed. From now on, I'm only playing sexy men. <laughs> We're like, hey, beautiful, you know, who probably right. smoke and drink heavily, <laughs> which I do neither of those things. But it's just funny, like I used to be able to be like, yeah, and now it's like, ugh. Oh, no, the like, hey. Greg Ayers is smoking is like integral to all of his uh, acting. Like he he always plays a teenage character that smokes heavily or sounds like he smokes heavily. Like it, it's a cool voice, but it's it's his. Yeah, when he, and his he, when he quit smoking like a year ago, Did like he? His, yeah, he quit smoking. He totally he like Greg Ayers totally quit smoking, and now it's like he sounds ten years younger again. Really? It's like he's starting over. <laughs> it's really funny. It's like I'm not wow you wow like what's your secret? Yeah, but that's. That's I, I, I want to hear this. I haven't seen it in a while. Hmm. Okay, more questions. We've got like we've got a few minutes left. We got like ten minutes left, so we got more questions. I'll pick. I'll pick. Um, doctor, do you have a question? All right. I'm sure you've had this asked before, but not in this manner. Pirates, ninjas, zombies, or Daleks? Daleks. Daleks. Okay, Never mind. Even know. <laughs> if you don't know, you can't be told. Oh, Daleks are in Doctor Who, right? Okay, wow. I haven't actually seen Doctor Who. You are cooler than I thought you were. Thank you. It's, it's really, I dated a chick who was obsessed with Doctor Who. Aww. So. I don't know, who would win? I think Daleks would win. I mean, come on, Daleks kill everything. That's kind of unfair. But zombies are already dead. Yeah, but if they're incinerated, it's not like they can, like, eat your brain if they're just ash. That'd be kind of a lame zombie, just a pile of ash. Going, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, like, that's not a horror movie. <laughs> It's like, oh, everyone run quick from the sawdust of doom! <laughs> it's not good, yeah. That's, Daleks would win. So, Daleks would win, but if you're asking who I would prefer to invade, that's, that, that'd be a good question. Oh, zombies, because they're easy I don't to know. kill. Pirates or zin and ninjas would be kind of fun. And we're talking, let's talk 20, 20 days later, Sal, just to spice things up. Because zombies aren't too easy to kill. They're just retarded people. <laughs> Like, zombies are like a really slow two-year-old child. Yeah, if, a, if a slow zombie takes you out, that's just Darwinism. I'm sorry. Uh, that's, that's, that is true. That is true. You probably need it to go. <laughs> that's okay. okay. 
So, okay, so what are my choices, pirates or ninjas? I would say, like, ninjas are cool, and pirates are both cool for different reasons. I would be hard, I don't think pirates, pirates don't do a lot of invading. Pirates want to get in and out with, the, with like, the cash, and then right. receive them again. And they, most of them have scurvy. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the ninjas, because ninjas, ninjas feel like- They just either, no. Huh? They, they do well, if they're working for somebody who's like, go invade that, that, that Motel 6, then yeah, that's, you know, it could happen. It could happen! The ninjas invade the- We're talking about Daleks and zombies. We, we could see ninjas invading a, a Motel 6. Okay, or like okay. Kita. But yeah, I don't know, I would, I would- I don't know that I would want any of them to invade, because I kind of like my life as it is, and I wouldn't want to have to change, because someone's either pointing a laser at me or a rotting finger and going, do this now. Invasion doesn't sound like a lot well, of fun to be part of. I'm one of those freaks that, like, secretly, deep, deep down, I hope that zombies will invade in my lifetime. Like, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah! 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 Yes, so, I had this argument once with, like, do you, do you have the friend, we all have the friend whose house you're going to when the zombies oh, come. Oh, yes. You're like, yeah. I am staying with you. Right. I'm with the truck, he has a lake house with an island in the lake and, like, boat to get there. He's absurdly rich. You know who my person is? Yeah. Terry Doty. Really? Terry Doty. She has an axe in her car. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I, we had this discussion once. Terry Doty, by the way, she's a director uh, of a Funimation actress as well. She, she, uh, she's one of the directors on Chick Fun He may as well. Also, a very dear friend of mine, she and I do a little podcast together called That Anime Show. If you care to uh, hear it, it's free. It's on That Anime Show is great.org. Check it out. There's my plug. But Terry, very, very funny woman, and we were talking one day, and we're, I'm like going, yeah, but like, I would be I would be useless against zombies. I would just have to run. And she's like, no, all you need is a bat. I'm like, not a gun. She's like, you don't gotta reload a bat. <laughs> like, she said, I'm staying at your house when the zombies get here. I was gonna use a baseball bat too, because you don't wanna get the blood on your face, you know? So that's why I have a bat, not a sword. How, how big is this bat? Because you're gonna get blood on your face if you use a baseball bat. Uh, I don't know. Where's the magical bat? Less, you get less bat versus katana, less blood with the bat. That's, I mean, a bludgeon. Uh, but make sure the blood's not invested by the T-Virus. Totally out of there before that blood even starts <laughs> yeah, blowing. Yeah, cool. In an anime. Have you actually seen someone? Are you actually having this conversation? We're talking about zombies and you're calling me out on- That's highly inaccurate. <laughs> yeah, I, like a, I said some word to him in the green room and, and what did I say? I can't- and he was like- and it, man. It was Oh yeah, yeah, I was talking about some movie I'd seen years ago called Encino Man. He was yeah. like, Encino Man? I'm like, yeah, he's like, like, spell it. And I'm like, how is spelling it gonna make you remember? I'm like, Mark? Mark. Yeah, M-A-R-K. Oh, Mark! <laughs> I just love giving Aaron hell. <laughs> I haven't seen him in forever now, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have time for, like, probably two more questions.